I'm going to be doing another reading today uh, using the zombie tarot. These people are the same people that put out um, the housewives tarot. It's a gorgeous deck, gorgeous presentation, and uh, very interesting, very creative. And I was asked to do a reading with using this deck, so I'm going to use this deck, and I'm going to also use the book that comes with the deck. I already picked the significator. And uh, this is a lady without arms, which is a little disturbing. It's the Queen of Hazards, though, which is the Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to be asking about um, when will my financial situation get better? So that's my question. So I figured, you know, maybe uh, the Queen of Pentacles would be a good, uh, Queen of Hazards would be a good uh, card as a significator. And I'm going to be using the book to uh, interpret the cards. So we'll be using this, look at this cool book. Uh, it's just the coolest thing ever. So um, the question is, uh, when will my financial situation clear up? What, 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 maybe ideas of how to clear, uh, get my financial situation in order, and that sort of thing. So it's about finances. Let's do this. I'm going to still use the horseshoe spread, and let's begin. Cars are not reversible. I've never used this for a reading, so it'll be fun to look at the book and see uh, what's going on with it. It's a very 40s type of book uh, called, again, this is zombie tarot. So we, everyone's sort of zombie-like, which means, you know, a little uh, baked a little too long in the oven. Okay, recent past, the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups in the past would, would indicate you know, some a lot of success in uh, in the past. There have been successes financially, and um, that's a good thing. And here we see a happy family at the beach, and a 50s family again, looking like the 50s family. Let's see what the Ten of Cups has to say in the book. Ten of Cup, Cups, peace, contentment, family. It's about time you... You caught a lucky break. The Ten of Cups showers you with happiness and a respite against the advancing Zambardi horde. Kick back, crack open a cold one, and enjoy the good times while they last. Family and friends gather around and to strengthen bonds and make plans for the future. So in the past, there has been support, I would say. In the recent past, there's been support. Family and friends have supported uh, you in uh, your situation, and it's, a it's made you feel good. Current action. The Fool, isn't that interesting? Let's see what their Fool has to say. A new journey, first steps, hasty choices. Um, our hero begins his journey with a spring in his step and a healthy set of blinders unaware of zombie claws reaching for his feet. You're bound to make plenty of mistakes in your new adventures, but your enthusiasm might be enough to carry you through a bumpy beginning. Try to pay attention to your surroundings. Are those storm clouds on the horizon? So it shows, uh, you know, there's a future and it's exciting what's comes, what comes in front of you, but there's also, you know, the opportunity to make mistakes. And, but still, um, there's a lot of new adventure and your enthusiasm will carry you through. So there may be some new opportunities in, in front of you and there may be some, maybe there's more than one opportunity and you're, you're looking things over to see which one is the best. And uh, some are, will be the best and some may be a mistake, but you know, we all learn through our mistakes. So that may be the situation that you're facing right now. This is Hidden Influences. The Nine of Swords, Hidden Influences, the Nine of Swords. That's interesting. This could be some mind games. This could be holding you back. Your own thoughts could be holding you back more than anything else. So let's see what it says there. Paranoia, anxiety, hopelessness. Worry has you in its grip, and you're feeling frantic about your future. The Nine of Swords reminds us that while our fears may try to overwhelm us, we are near the end of the cycle, and we will begin to carry 
on. Take things slowly. The situation isn't as bad as you imagine, and you'll come out on the other side stronger than before. So hidden influences are, you know, your mind playing, you know, you're getting discouraged, getting overwhelmed. But you're, you're almost at the end of a, of a, of a journey, and uh, that's a very good thing. It says, take things slowly. The st situation is as bad as you, isn't as bad as you imagine, and you'll come out on the other side stronger than before. The sword suit is always about learning from mistakes, learning and moving on, and uh, that would be indicated, indicated through this card. Obstacles. The, nine, the Five of Cups. Obstacles. The Five of Cups. Lost, sadness, grief. Um, all seems lost. The mood is black. Things aren't going as you hoped. And you're faced with other disappointment and cursing your mouth-watering limbs for tempting the zombie horde. Obsessing over the past can only cause pain. Turn that frown upside down and look forward to a future of free of disgusting walking corpses. If you grieve too long, your sorrow may swallow you up. So here we have, this is the obstacle. So again, you're tormented by the past and, and living, seeing the present through the past eyes. And this would suggest, you know, drawing away from that and looking at the, the future with fresh eyes. And that's looking back through the past, looking uh, with your old eyes, looking through the past, is your obstacle. So it's time to re, re, re look at things in a different way. Look at the future, don't look at the past. This is the community. The Seven of Cups. Choices, consideration, and daydreams. Holy smokes, you've hit the jackpot. Too many choices may be fuddle, even the most determined zombie, but the Seven of Cups signals that a decision needs to be made. Take a minute to decide what's important, then stagger toward your goal. Don't get caught dreaming of possibilities. Look at your opinions, pick the most attractive cerebellum on the table and go for it. So this is a zombie with uh, choices and it says it's time to make a choice. Look at your options clearly and make a choice. Uh, it's time to, to consider and make a choice. And it, it seems like um, it's, it indicates that there's a lot of choices to be made. So maybe the in the community and maybe the positions you're looking at, there's more than one position that you're, that's out there that you're considering. And it's time for you to, you know, pick a pony and ride it. There you go. Uh, current action. The Queen of Cups. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Queen of Cups. That, that's got to be good news, right? Queen of Cups. Current action. Queen of Cups. Intuitive, devoted emotions. Nurturing, playful, and communicative despite her absence of lips. The Queen of Cups feels that life is a party. Her house often overflows with friends seeking counsel and advice. This queen has an uncanny ability to hear and understand the mysteries of the universe. Look for new projects in the area of children, animals, spiritual matters, and the environment. And yeah, that's interesting. Look for new prospects in the areas of children, animals, spiritual matters, and the environment. So this would fare very well. Like there are, there's opportunity coming here and um, that will mesh really well with your own sensibilities. And maybe that's the direction you should go in. What do you feel the most drawn to in the, and go in that direction? And the outcome of doing that? The King of Cups. We got the King and the Queen of Cups. So uh, let's see what that has to say with the King of Cups. Empathy, diplomatic, generous. He looks like the quiet, sensitive type, a portrait of calm, confident stability. But just beneath the surface lies a more complicated and emotional individual. 
The King of Cups keeps his feeling to himself, but he's always ready to lend an ear, even if, if it's not his. He may, be, he, may all repre, he may also represent the need to act more from your heart than from your head. So again, this is, um, I think this, to me, it indicates there's a lot of um, uh, emotional aspects to this uh, reading. Look at how many cups there are. Uh, one, two, three, four, five cups. That's a lot. Um, there's one fool card and one sword card. The cups are, you know, an emotional, very emotional uh, uh, element and suit. And it shows, I would say that it shows to lead from your heart, to go what you feel is, but go with your gut more than anything else. And that should lead you in the right direction. I always tell people that the best thing to do, uh, I mean, if you want to live a good life, you can get a job you love and you don't feel like it's work, it's work at all. So uh, reach for the stars, reach, think of what you want and really want to do from your heart and go for it. And I think that will lead you to wonderful things. Here we have the king and the queen of cups in uh, current action and, the, and the, the outcome. So we have some choices, you have to make some choices, and then if you make the choices and are really happy with your choices or get excited about those choices, that's the direction to go in. I hope this reading has been helpful, and I want you all to have a nice day. Thanks for watching.